Last time, we went from paradise to nightmare. When you're at Calypso, then you show me again. While exploring the dry tortugas. It started off a little rough. Cut the coral, darn it. You did. But then we recovered. Well, we thought we did. What'd you think, Lucy? Oh, I was awesome. We both had <laughs> probably the accident. <laughs> I was like, yeah, just don't touch the coral because it could be fire coral. And I like went and hugged it with my leg. Then we were back to the boat for some fun in the sun. Gecko style, baby. Oh, okay. Apparently I'm messing up. Hey. Where we enjoyed a lovely evening before it all went bad. This dude is all over the place. They're dragging. They're running right into him. All right, they just hit. After an extremely rough night of dragging anchor, winds crazy. How about nobody how about slept? Middle of the night, dragging anchor, boats crashing in the other boats. This is a true boating experience. And then we wake up to untangle our anchors after getting yelled at by the guy that runs the plate, the anchorage. Oh no, those the freaking park troopers, whatever they are, park, park rangers. Oh my telling gosh. us we're anchored in the wrong spot. Like, we didn't go there, we got drugged there by another anchor. Yeah, they're so, see what, what we went through all night long, right? He done, he done. So, Pulled anchor, tried to re-anchor, wasn't holding, we just said screw it, let's go. And the seas are probably sixes? Yeah, maybe think? six with an occasional eight. Six with an occasional eight. I threw up for the first time in our sink. Never done that. What sink? That one. Sweet. I cleaned it out. <laughs> That's where her coffee's yeah. sitting now. <laughs> and the water bottle. Sorry. I cleaned it out. Hey, we're lucky I made it. <laughs> I was sitting there like, I'm not making it to the sink. There's no way. So we slowed the boat down, ate some lunch, which was nice. First thing we ate today. Yeah. Jeremiah is making Lucy some coffee. Yeah, I think he feels a little bad. Oh well, she likes her coffee and she made such good dinners. I know. <laughs> and lunches. I know. So we're just waiting for that and then we're going to continue on. Yeah, weather. Obviously, weather was not what was predicted last night, so uh, they've kind of changed it. So we might pull into the marina today, and tomorrow's on. We have an undecided yet. We'll see. We're gonna decide on the weather tomorrow ourselves because they've been wrong yeah. about yeah. the weather. How do you feel? Um, not too good. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Are you second guessing? <laughs> she is. She told Reese, like, I'm, I'm considering I now. To rethink. <laughs> I'm weighing my options. <laughs> oh no. But this is great because she's getting the real experience. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, and that's really, that's what she wanted. She wanted to come for the real experience. We're headed up the channel to Boca Chica Marina, which is just north of Key West. Communication is key when docking. These headsets are great. If nobody comes to help and I have to step off, I'm going to get you to hand me the bow line instead. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll walk you all the way up. Not too bad, even though we did bump the dock. Nice one, Captain. Was that your first big boat docking? Oh yeah, I was I was nervous. I Were was you? freaking out. You weren't even talking. <laughs> no. That's how I know you're nervous. <laughs> she doesn't speak when <laughs> she talks. Yeah, but thank goodness there's a lot of people helping. I know. I was I was like, oh my gosh. I, I was scared that I would throw the, the thing in the water instead <laughs> after the first. It time. wasn't that bad, right? No, it's nice when cool. people help. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. It's a great community. Love it, it. It is. Love it. 
decided to pull into the marina for the night since there's another storm cooking. It was actually coming for us. We all ran it, got in here safely, which is really nice. I'm a mess, I'm really tired. On no sleep whatsoever, all of us. Came into the marina, nice and snug, running from this last little storm. We didn't want a night, another night like last night, so we thought it was better just tuck away here for the night, have some AC, clean up the boat, and reset for tomorrow. How'd that go? Good, it went great. You touched the dock with the boat. I did? Yeah. Oh. You came in too hot. You look tired, honey. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Put the power cables on, start up the ACs, get a beer and try to forget about the disastrous trip to the drive through tickets. It's bullshit that he can have a beer and I can't. Lucy is such a joy to have aboard. Her cooking is insane. Plus, she's got some serious dancing skills. We are doing taco night. How are you? I'm tired, how are you? How are you? Good. And then we're gonna call Miss Lucy <laughs> Salsa. She's down there dancing salsa. Yeah, Who's I like gonna... it. Mark Anthony, I love it. She's probably like, thank God we're back on the dock, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> she started singing. I know. <laughs> She's like, I'm alive. I made it. How is your husband? He's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was um, he was just a little bit worried because we didn't have internet, so it yeah. was not our fault. But then, because he knew on the news that it was a storm, so it was like, did it hit you? And then finally, when I had internet, I told him yes, it did. But I'll tell you later all yeah. the details when I get home. <laughs> Because yeah. if, if I tell him now, he's probably gonna be come back home. What are you doing? Yeah. Like, she's like, I'll I was tell you, say. but don't put the deposit down on the boat. Don't. <laughs> we need to talk. Jeremiah would be freaking if that was me. He'd be yeah, like, I would, I would, I would he would have probably had the Coast Guard. <laughs> I'm like, there's a storm and I haven't heard from her. Okay, let's eat taco yeah. night. What a difference I feel to have slept compared to yesterday. Got the boys, both boys in here. How you doing? Oh, amazing. Somehow we ended up with a little person in our bed. Yeah, I didn't came in. The AC didn't work too well last night. That's my only complaint. I kept it higher because it messed up before we went to bed. There it goes. Yeah, it's turned off. Does it feel better? Yeah, it was nice. I didn't sleep for like 24 hours. Yesterday I didn't get my morning drink because it was rocking and rolling. So I'm excited for that, my little decaf latte. Of course, she's ready. Oh my gosh. <laughs> exhibit A and Exhibit B. <laughs> Good morning. How'd you sleep? Oh, awesome. What a difference. I huh? know, my gosh. The AC, the car. I know. What time did you wake went, up? Uh, 7.30. Wow. Because usually you wake up at 6, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I know. I tired. You got a little coffee going? Yep. Did you like my oatmeal? You I loved your oatmeal. oatmeal. <laughs> I love everything you make. You don't even have to ask. <laughs> So we have a ton of leftovers on the boat and we agree we're not going to throw them out. We're going to come up with something to do with them. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. We could probably do eggs in some of them, oatmeal. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of more oatmeal and then, um, well, the pancakes, we just need to warm them. And uh, the other stuff I'm going to see, I think I can do something really creative with the potatoes and the meat and the vegetables, you can do a different um, omelet. Oh, yes. That's the leftover salmon. That would be good for a snack. Yes, for you, not for me. Yeah. I told her, I'm like, I don't even know if I can look at that because I, I threw that one. Yeah. So I think she's going to do the duty of eating that one.
I love those little things. They're so easy to use. They're and great, right? right? And you named them, right? Um, or they no. came like this. John did it, and then he did one row, and then I did a second row. So I guess I did name the second row. Yeah, because it doesn't come with the name, so I saw that he put it. I think that this is so cool. It is, and then it makes it a lot easier for the yeah. stuff I use all the time, but then I have my full yeah. pantry of spices. Yeah. I love this. I have this at home. Yeah. The same setup. I'm cooking here, and I can wash my hands and wash whatever on the back. The boats that you're looking at, you want galley up. I do. Yeah. For me, it will be, I would love yeah. to be with everybody talking and, yeah. and even maybe like a, in passages if I have to do something if it's right there it's not that bad coming down definitely definitely I think they both have good and bad most people that I meet like galley up mm -hmm. I think I could be fine either way yeah but for me I like just the separation a little bit but you don't have young kids running which is fine but when you're cooking it's nice to be like okay out of the kitchen yeah you know exactly this kind of gives a barrier out of the kitchen yeah where if it's up there I'm how can I say that when they're in the living space you know Jeremiah yesterday mentioned right you feel comfortable in the kitchen like it's your kitchen <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I, yeah, I kind of learned where it's everything at so you knew like after the first day yep <laughs> I came out here and you were just cooking up a storm so what'd you end up coming up with for the leftovers? I'm doing um, omelet, and I did the oatmeal, and I'm doing the, I did the potatoes. I don't know if you guys are gonna like it or not, but. They look like little hash browns. Yeah, I smashed them, and I mixed them with uh, one egg to get the te texture, them all together. And now I'm doing the spinach with the meat omelet. We are a leftover type of family. This is the perfect breakfast. Oh, this is amazing. I'm gonna buy it for my own. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get the spinach. Turns out like this. And there we have it. A lovely meal to start off another day in the islands. Look at that breakfast. Yeah. What do you think? Good. I'm going to eat the pancake first. The pancake? <laughs> Is that the name? Pancake. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's beautiful once guys... again. She's making a Brazilian drink. She said, too bad you can't have one. Can I have a virgin one? No alcohol, yeah. We can put ice and we do the fruit. What's it called? Usually, caipirinha. 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 Yeah, usually you do with lemon and uh, sugar. Well, here's lemon. We yeah. didn't even use it. So I'm going to do yours with that. Because I thought, I saw the pineapple and I think I think it's going to, everything that's acid, you can put it and it tastes good. So it's just lemon, what is that? Strawberry, lemon, sugar? Well, she has strawberries and pineapples in her, oh. hers, and then she put lemon in mine. Oh. I'm going to put strawberries too strawberries and then what kind of liquor would you put in it vodka if you do with um, vodka you call caipiroska but then if you do aguardiente the which is aguardente that which is a type of liquor then you call caipirinha yeah. caipirinha yeah okay. yeah 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 you got that oh yeah <laughs> definitely <laughs> and then we have to have something to like suck the lemon. Smash it? Yeah. It's not going to be in there. We have a wooden. Mm-hmm. could use like the back of that. Yeah. That's I think what brings all the flavors. Is that the best we have for that? I don't know. Maybe she could use the <laughs> other end. I mean, I have a potato masher, but it's not going to no, fit. No, no, no. This, this. That's fine. There we go. Then we'll put the, like right now, if it was a regular caipiroska, we'll put the vodka now. Uh -huh. And then the ice. But since yours is a virgin one, so we're, we're just, just going to pretend. Put the, pretend and put the ice. But I'm going to put some strawberries here too. You're so close to having a drink. You can probably see the tear dripping out of my eye. <laughs> the fruit's what makes it good, honey, not the alcohol. No, you're, you're sadly <laughs> mistaken. Something's wrong here. 
Not a lot of water. Oh, well, we have one more. I know. All right. Let's see. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, yeah. Did you put vodka in? Oh, yeah. Yours is like all vodka. Cheers. <laughs> this is not fair. <laughs> Oh, oh she's my like, God. yeah, I, I took your vodka too. <laughs> cheers, cheers. <laughs> Here are the first dance lessons that I'm aboard back. Calypso. So, one, two, one, two. Ah! <laughs> Wait, let me get behind you and then I'll follow your feet. Remember the hips. Look, you move them. And then when you like have the music, you're built with more hips. And then another way you can go to the sides. Then it's another one. Uh -oh. This is easy. Like one, two, one, two. You move your boobies. Okay. This is oh, much easier. Boobies? Sober. <laughs> can I say boobies? Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Men have boobies too. One, two. We're gonna do the turn. One, one two, three. and then this feet goes down and bring it back. Okay. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Not that hard. Okay, maybe it's a little hard, but it's certainly fun shaking it with this lovely woman. We just hung out shaking it into the evening hours. Jeremiah has it pretty rough, don't you think? Until next time. Coming up, we've been stuck in a marina. The winds are just kicking. You look like a natural. So this is like the perfect situation for I me. I feel the same way. So as a previous Calypso owner, what do you think? I think this is probably one of the best upgrades you could have done. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.